All right, how's everybody doing out there in Math Magic Land? That's right, Mr. Buscarella coming at you. And we're going to take a look at how to graph a logarithmic function with a base other than 10 using the Desmos graphing calculator. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these problems here that we did previously. So if we take a look at the very first example here, log base 5 of 2x plus 10. So to put this into Desmos, so of course you're going to open up a tab in Desmos. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is you have to hit this button in the lower left hand corner, hit the little keyboard screen. And then the function, so this was recently changed in Desmos, so now you have to scroll all the way down to where calculus is. And you'll see that very first thing right there. Log of A underneath the EXP and that little funky symbol, which is an integral symbol. So you choose log base of A. So then where the cursor is blinking, you'll notice that is the base that we'll have. And in this one, our base was five. So we'll go ahead and put the five there. And if you switch screens or whatever, it'll have, you'll have to move back there. And then we'll go inside the parentheses where the argument is. We'll type in 2x plus 10. Make sure you close that. And then of course it was minus one. Now, a couple things on this, all right? So when we solved that before, for that. So let me go back here. When we looked at our argument, our argument, when we simplified that or solved that for x, we got x was greater than negative 5. So then what we want to do is put in x is equal to negative 5. And that's going to serve as our vertical asymptote. All right. So we're going to go ahead and change that. So you're going to click on the color that's there. Uh, and then slide over here and click on the little dash line right there because that is going to also help us verify that piece right there. So when we look at this, uh, we're going to take a look at a couple things for this. So we're going to have our vertical asymptote at negative 5, at x equals negative 5. And then we have a x-intercept right here. Thank you, Desmos, for helping us out with that. And we also have a y-intercept. So when you go to graph these, You'll, you know, I'll be looking for a couple of things. One is that vertical asymptote at x equals negative 5. So on your picture, all right, you're going to go ahead and go to negative 5 on the x-axis. And you're going to put a dashed line because that's a vertical asymptote right there. And notice, whatever that is, that value right there, that is where the vertical asymptote is going to be. So you want to have that vertical asymptote um, at x equals negative 5. All right, so that's going to be the first thing. And then the other two things we're going to look at are going to be the x-intercept, which is at negative 2.5. So that's pretty, pretty nice because that's there. So you go over to negative 2.5, wherever that is, um, you know, and it's approximation, so you're going to put a dot right there. And then our y-intercept, when we look at our y-intercept, that was somewhere between 0 and 1. So it's almost halfway there. So between 0 and 1, again, we're just a sketching this stuff right here. So you're going to put a dot right there. And then, of course, we will connect our dots. So you're going to draw the function. So you're going to draw this function starting very close and then just kind of going in that direction like that. And that's all you got to do. So again, the three things that I would look for on this is that you got your vertical asymptote, you've got any x-intercepts, and you've got any y-intercepts. So all each one of those would get you a point on the graph. And the x and y-intercepts, they just have to be approximate, and they're in the right spot. And your vertical asymptote is going to need to be a dashed line. So that's how you input that into Desmos. So if you look at, take a look at number two, there's no base written. So again, we assume that the base is 10, but Desmos, Desmos is pretty cool because on Desmos, when we look in there, if we go to the little keyboard and we go over to the functions, scroll all the way down to where it says calculus, you'll notice uh, one of them in the top row of the calculus section is just log with a base of 10 because again, they don't write 10 for the base. So you can use that or you could use the other one and actually type in a 10. Either one, your choice. You do you, boo, and I got you no matter what. Actually, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. That is how you graph logarithmic functions in Desmos. Thanks for watching and make it a great day. Peace out.